Good evening, everyone. My name is Florian Rovers. I am a student at the Breda University of Applied Sciences, and this is my TED Talk. Um, as you can see, I'm not in the TED Talk stage, in TED Talk theater, uh, because of COVID. Uh, so I'm doing this from my desk here in Breda. Uh, downstairs, some uh, roommates are having a party, which I will be, I don't know if I'll be joining them, but right now I'm doing this TED Talk because it's very important. I have an important uh, message, but most importantly, I have a interesting uh, story to tell you. And uh, yes, so I'll, I'll begin with a little background information on why I chose the subject. And the subject is uh, the Conrad House in Amsterdam. But I'll be talking about that a little later. I want to tell you about how I came to this uh, this subject. Um, I uh, a year ago I studied in Amsterdam, and it was very fun. And it uh, was a uh, um, um, It looked a lot like what I'm doing now. I was doing Baukunde, and now I'm doing Stedenbouwkunde uh, or city planning, as you would call it. Um, but it was too technical for me, so I didn't finish there. Um, but I did have a very nice time there, and I was intrigued by uh, the building we were having classes in, and um, the building they were they are got now going to build on our now building. Um, so that's why I'll be talking about the Conrad House in Amsterdam, because it has a personal connection with me, and I think it's. Very intriguing. So the Conrad House in Amsterdam. It's a new building uh, for the uh, high, uh, the University of Amsterdam, the high, high school of Amsterdam actually. Um, right now the building they are using for the technical faculty, because the Conrad House will be for the uh, science or technical faculty. Uh, the current building is the Leeuwenburg building. Uh, it was, uh, it used to be an office building, uh, KPN used to be uh, in there, and uh, ING. Uh, and the upper levels, uh, it has 14 levels of, uh, of space, and the upper levels used to be offices, uh, individual offices, no boxes, and the lower uh, levels used to be uh, office gardens, so that was very interesting. Um, the Leeuwenburg building, uh, the Havia has uh, 47,100 students uh, currently, um, but that will grow even more. And that's a lot of students for six buildings, I think they have. Um, and they have a lot of people in the science faculty. So even this building, this huge building, which they use 14 floors of, is, is not, not, not big enough for uh, so many students. And I noticed that when I when I was going there, uh, you always had to fight for a place in the study spaces. Uh, so that was not nice. Uh, you could always find a place, but you were always smushed, um, smudged between, uh, squeezed between uh, other people. And so you couldn't really focus. Uh, the upside of the Leeuwenburg Bound is that it's uh, adjacent to the Amstel Stadium station. So it's very uh, east to reach from everywhere in um, in Holland and in the Netherlands and the, in Amsterdam. So that was really nice about it. But it's a really dull looking building. As you can see, it has something, but it's not uh, it's not it's not eye catching, really. Uh, so now they are building the Conrad House. Uh, which will be uh, a lot bigger. It will be uh, next to uh, another building that's owned by the Havia. Uh, and here uh, it will uh, house the uh, science faculty. And uh, the Conrad House has some special uh, additions. It is focused on communication and on uh, open spaces. So they, wanted, they want a new form of uh, teaching 
uh, which will revolutionize um, the way we are doing now. And it will be a lot better. Um, they had a couple requirements before building the building because you won't uh, build something without having actual requirements. So the first thing they wanted was extra space for the extra students and more students that, that, that are going to come uh, to the Amsterdam. Uh, they wanted a adequate connection to the rest of Amsterdam and to the rest of the Netherlands because a lot of uh, students will be uh, coming here. Also, the building needs to be ecologically built with the future in mind. It means it needs to be sustainable. So uh, a lot of uh, uh, materials are sustainable, recyclable, and are already recycled. Um, but I'll we'll be uh, talking about that more later. It also requires an elegant design. Um, yeah, and as you can see, uh, as I talked about earlier, um, they have these open spaces. They have also they have closed spaces, but these open spaces are very special. Uh, you can look uh, from, from you can stand on the uh, top floor and look to the bottom floor, which is very special, and it makes for an open space, so you can go everywhere where you want, and it really uh, is a nice uh, learning uh, environment. Right, the connection with uh, the rest of Amsterdam and uh, the, the Netherlands, as I said earlier, the Leeuwenburg uh, building is very uh, has a very good connection. Uh, it is next to a station, and that station is connected to, uh, uh, to the whole of the Netherlands. I had to uh, personally uh, had to travel uh, or commute uh, for about an hour. Still a lot. Uh, it really, uh, really took a toll sometimes. Um, but the Conrad House is less uh, well connected. It has it has a connection with uh, with a bus and a tram, but um, you know how uh, busy uh, and cramped uh, Amsterdam can be. So uh, it will not be nice for the students going there to actually get there and, and, and get, get home after. Because they're all, they will always be in the, uh, in the busy hours. But, so it's not uh, as good connected, but uh, it, it's not that bad. <clears throat> um, to go back on sustainability, they have uh, thought, about, thought about this a lot. Um, they've got a Braham certificate, which means they uh, uh, have thought a lot about uh, the sustainability and ecological uh, way of building. They've got a green roof. They've got uh, solar panels. They've got um, a lot of sustainable materials in the, in the building. And uh, all the sustainability uh, sustainability doesn't mean it gets uh, less comfortable. Um, they've got uh, a perfect climate within the building. They've got uh, all kinds of things. Uh, the sign and building process. Um, they took a lot of inspiration from other buildings in Amsterdam and some buildings in Rotterdam. Uh, Peter Bruin has uh, also uh, built some some buildings there, and, and has, he's built some of these buildings you can see right now on the screen. Uh, and as you can see, they have uh, a very similar uh, style of building. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. Um, so he has taken the style and used it for the Conrad House, and they are very happy with it. I think it looks great. Uh, it has a very modern, simple style with. Uh, some weird tweaks to make it interesting. And they use a lot of glass. Um, these are some pictures of the building. So you can uh, really see what they are trying to do. You can see these, these open spaces, as I said earlier, um, they are really special. And this building is also connected to the building that's next to it. That's an older building of the Havia. Um, so you can go from one faculty to the other. So there's even 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 better connection with uh, other study uh, studying uh, learning spaces. The building process of, as of right now. Uh, in this picture, you can see uh, how it looks right now. Uh, 
they have a live feed and they say it will be done in January uh, 2022. So in conclusion, uh, I had a lot of fun there. I didn't make it, but I had a lot of fun. And I, I regret not staying there because I would have liked to uh, be in the Conrad house and uh, learning there and finishing my studying there. But I'm going to have a lot of fun here in Breda. And I thank you all for, for, for listening uh, to my TED talk. Uh, I hope you had fun. Uh, are there any questions? You can't ask me that right now. But, um, thank you very much for watching.